Hey, what's going on everyone? Big here for Serpent X Tech. And just like you saw in a recent video from Linus Tech Tips uh, titled, Ask Me Why I'm Mining in 2023, I'm kind of doing the same thing. And something that I've been doing for years now is using my rigs to heat my house. Uh, right now it's uh, close to the low 40s. Probably gonna get down to 30s tomorrow, but right now it's not that bad. Matter of fact, let me show you the internal temperature of that. So while it's 44, probably gonna get down to 40 maybe 39 tonight uh, it's only 76 inside the house not bad at all but what I do is during the summer I exhaust the heat um, you know into the attic and then I have an attic fan uh, pulling that heat out as well as the soffit but right now you will see that the top rig and the octaminer is off the AMD rig is off. The RGB fans back there are, are not lit. So the only one that's working right now is the NVIDIA system at the bottom. And that is just warm enough. I'm getting a nice warm breeze coming out. And by monitoring the power output that the system pulls and you know monitoring the temperature, what I can do is I can regulate how hot I want the house to be. I can even use the uh, sliding glass door and the screen to kind of let a little bit of cool air especially on this side come in get sucked into the tent if i wanted to and then have the hot air come out towards the top i kind of leave the tent like diagonally i have like the door open diagonally so that way the hot air is coming out towards the top where the cool air is going in machines are getting fed cool air but the hot air is keeping the family nice and warm and then i just operate the ac fan you know, obviously not using any heat or AC, but just using the fan itself to circulate the air inside the household and everybody's just fine during the winter, saving me electricity overall. So by regulating or trying to regulate the thermals in the house, I can just use one rig or say, for example, if it is going to get down to like 38, 36, I'll turn on the NVIDIA and the AMD rig. If it's going to get down really cold, to like the low 30s, high 20s, then I turn on all three. And then if it's somewhere in between, like it's not gonna get that cold, but I do want all rigs kicking on, then again, using a little bit of the back door, the cool air coming in, as well as uh, the tent cracked a certain way, like I might even just crack it, like have the door all the way closed until about right here and just leave it slightly flat. That, that heat, some of that heat would escape and then I could circulate that into the house, saving me money on electricity. Because obviously we all know electricity is not cheap right now. Uh, the cost to run it uh, from our various power stations, depending on where you live, is costing us more and more freaking money. So I'm using my mining rigs to heat the whole family house. And because of the vaulted ceilings, it does make it a little bit harder. But with that fan on over there, I could then circulate it using the uh the you know the overall hvac fan and we're good to go no problem saving money on electricity but heating the house at the same time so it can it has its benefits has its perks costs money to run obviously like all electronic components running 24 7 but you know if you manage it you can wind up saving yourself a buck while still keeping your family nice and comfortable because 76 degrees is not bad for Florida whatsoever especially for internal temperatures and the humidity is not bad as well I have a thermostat and a sensor for that as well but just wanted to share this little clip with you uh, manage keep an eye on your power usage manage your heat accordingly and keep track of your temperatures internal temperatures of your house and you'll be just fine so do me a favor hit the like button on the way out make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and I'll catch you next one take care